there's a, a fascinating little geeky science here that I wanted to share with you, and I, th I think this is um, really, really interesting. The, the article, the, the, the title of the article, this came out of uh, Okayama University in Japan, and the title of the article was Scientists Dig Deep to Understand the Effects of Population Pressure on Violence Levels. And the, there's an intuitive part and a counterintuitive part to it. It's absolutely fascinating comparing the two. What they found is that, yes, in fact, there is an association between high population pressures and violence. Now, you can imagine that would be the case, right? That the, the more people are competing for resources, um, you know, the, the more violence you're going to have and the more, the more other social ills associating with that. And they specifically tie this to resource scarcity uh, leading to competition and conflict over resources. This is called the population pressure hypothesis. But then they, they, they did this historical study. They went back to the middle Yayoi period. This is 350 BC to 25 uh, CE or AD, a, a period of almost 400 years. And uh, looking at the skeletal remains in these jar coffins, these are very, very well-preserved skeletal remains to find out what was going on. And what they found was that during those periods of time when there was a highly functioning government in this region, violence went down, even though population pressure was very high. And during those times when the government became weaker, which is exactly what you know the Taliban and the Republicans and the libertarian billionaires all want, right, is a, a weaker federal government. Well, actually, I, I suppose you could argue that the Republicans and the Taliban want a strong federal government when it comes to oppressing women and gays and folks like that. But you know, generally speaking, um, when it comes to protecting the people, they want a weaker government. And during those times when there was a weaker government, there was more interpersonal violence, there was more murder, there was more crime. And I, 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 I just found this absolutely fascinating and wanted to share it with you. Yes, government can be a... Uh, a force for good when it's done right. So, 